It's funny too, uh, thinking back, because I went to the National Theatre School and for yeah, two years yeah. and I was very happy to be there. Uh, we did a lot of physical work. We did a lot of emotional work. We did the voice work. Nobody taught me to think. And it wasn't until I did Tom Stoppard, the playwright, did I understand that I had to actually think what I was saying when I said it. And I thought, well, why wasn't that at the theater school? Why didn't someone with the body, with the emotion, with the, all, you, all that you're talking about, it missed the, maybe it was anti-intellectual, I don't know. But no one said, Robert, you must think what you say when you say it. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> that's a shame because that's one of the keys to good acting. Understand what you say, think about what you're, what you're saying, and the, the, the funny thing is that when on, you're on stage, usually you forget entirely about that. Mm. This must come before acting in the preparation of a play and of a character and the development of a, of a character. That's the period during which you have to think about what you say, what is the meaning of what I'm saying, and one key is to listen also. That's very important, listening to the other character speaking to you as if it were for the first time and taking note of what they say about your own character. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not always true, because there may be some other characters <coughs> that, are, uh, uh, that you're not sympathetic to, and they will uh, make declarations on your own personality as a character that are not uh, necessarily true. But then you have to analyze it and to take what can serve you in developing your character. But listening is a very, very important part of acting. Because if you cut your communication with the public after delivering a line and then you reestablish it with the next line, obviously that's not good there must be a continuity and uh, even if you're uh, silent during 10 minutes on stage without attracting attention in an, in an unduly way you have to be present you have to be there and not uh, uh, actively yeah not passively you have to be there listening well, if you say, as you say, it is an act of love, it's a state of love that happens, you must listen to the person you love. You can't be in love if you don't listen, so exactly. you must listen to the audience, you must listen to your fellow actors, yeah. if it is a state of love. I've never heard it put that way, and I think that's a great way of putting it.